The new Harbor Bridge will change more than just the city skyline. It's already changing routes for some CCISD and RTA bus riders. Thank you for joining us. Right now, those route changes are temporary. Now, the adjustments, of course, uh, were made because of the Comanche Street Bridge demolition, but a massive construction project like the new bridge will also mean some permanent changes in traffic patterns. Our Jane Caffrey joins us live from the site of the former Comanche Street Bridge with more about that. Jane. Well, Lee, with this bridge gone, drivers and buses can no longer cross over the expressway via Comanche, and so many are on detours. Now, the Comanche Street Bridge will be rebuilt by May, but then this nearby Lapan Street Bridge will be demolished permanently, and that will cause even more detours. RTA Bus Route 21 previously took riders over Crosstown via the Comanche Street Bridge. The bridge is gone, but traffic still needs to get from here to there. That means changes for commuters. Just created a couple diversions, but it's doable. Due to the ongoing construction on Comanche, the RTA has deviated two bus routes, Route 21 and its Sunday only service, Route 21S. Four RTA bus stops in the construction zone have been replaced by new temporary stops. So try and get those people who would have gone to the regular stops as close as possible to the rerouted areas. Evans Elementary is on Comanche Street near the construction zone, and that means altered commutes for some students that walk to school and parents that drop off and pick up. And for Evans students that take the bus to school, schedules remain the same, but the buses have been rerouted to travel down Agnes Street. Because the bridge is so close to the school, their normal traffic patterns may have to change for parents and for the buses, but uh, because we were aware of it in advance, we were able to plan for that. The changes will be in effect until May when the new Comanche Street Bridge opens, but then the Lapan Street Bridge will be torn down and it's not being replaced. And as the Corpus Christi skyline and traffic grid transform, it will prompt both the RTA and CCISD to be flexible in their traffic plans. All of this area is going to be um, under effect, and we have several schools in the area. We do meet with the planning commission on that, and we know what's coming up, and so we can adjust those traffic patterns as necessary. And there's another closure for commuters to be aware of that is upcoming. The entrance ramp to I-37 at Nueces Bay Boulevard will be closing for construction work starting on Friday, January 26th. Lee. Jane, that's an awful lot of rerouting for a project that still has another two years to go. What else can we expect besides this next one as construction continues? Well, Lee, this is a huge project and an ongoing process, so expect many more traffic delays and closures throughout this area. But the managers of the Harbor Bridge project are sending out alerts about those closures every week. Back to you.